Hey guys, Adam Katz for DogTrainerToolbox.com with Banjo the Border Collie. Uh, just throwing him in there for the tax deductions on my dog food. Hey, uh, if you need a Google Ads person, check out DogTrainerToolbox.com and I will refer you to who I recommend. If you need a website that does a better job of converting the traffic you get from Google Ads or from Facebook Ads or from your SEO or from your organic traffic and gets you 30 to 70% more response from that website, um, also go to dogtrainertoolbox.com because I can help you out with that as well. So to the subject I want to show you today about how to write poorly written testimonials for your website. Now why would you want to do that? You, you don't want to do that at all. So I'm going to use as an example this. Let me see if I can open it up here. Um, this is from a local dog trainer who is advertising and I, I want to point out a couple of things that they're doing wrong. They don't know me, I don't know them, and I haven't told them I'm doing this, so it is what it is. Anyways, um, recent praise, I, I would change this to success stories because people are more drawn to read about success stories, but that's a minor point. The big mistake they're making are, or is twofold. Number one, you see each of these pictures are just pictures of uh, the dogs. So um, this isn't good because naturally people think these could be generic pictures of dogs. Uh, you know, you could buy these pictures from iStock Photo or who knows whose dogs these are. So whenever you do a testimonial or you put a success story on your website, what you want to do is use a picture of the owner with the dog uh, and snap the picture. And it's real easy to do that when you're working with the client and you do something cool and they go, wow, that's cool. You say, thanks. Hey, would you mind if I took a picture of you and your dog and put it on my website? 99.9% .9 of the time, they're gonna say, yes, no problem. Now you have a picture to go with your testimonial uh, of the owner with the dog. What that does is it creates credibility. That picture of the owner with the dog says, hey, this is a real person with their dog, just like me, who lives in my community. The second thing that they did wrong was, you see these the names underneath the testimonial, Mike T, uh, I can't read what this one says, Ariel W. Stephanie J. Well, there's no last names, which makes me think they're just making it up. So we've got pictures of random dogs without their owners and uh, names of people without last names. It just lacks credibility and it lacks authenticity. So if you do the opposite of that, I can guarantee you, because I've tested this myself, it's also been tested on ad nauseum for decades and decades in the advertising industry, you will get better response. Better response means instead of one out of 10 people who hit your site contacting you, maybe you get one out of nine, or one out of eight, just by making a simple, stupid change like that to your website. A word from our sponsor, this guy. You know, if you wanna get 30 to 70% more leads from the same traffic that you're sending to your website, you should be using our done for you dog training business website. It's proven and tested to convert more traffic than pretty much anything else out there. Our client in South Florida went from one lead a week to five to seven leads per day, sending the same amount of traffic to his website. The best part is we do it pretty much all for you. You send us a picture, three testimonials, and a brief description of your services, and we take care of the rest. You can learn more by subscribing to the Dog Trainer Marketing Newsletter at dogtrainertoolbox.com. You'll be redirected to a page where you can read all about our done-for-you dog training business website.